Hey guys, I'm Lynette and I hope you are all enjoying your holidays. And today my video is going to be about the planners I'm going to use in 2023. So in the end of the year, as planner people, we change all our planners and it's really exciting. I watch a bunch of videos on the new planners coming out. And I had been decided on the planners I was going to use, but I added this one last minute. It's the Hobonichi Weeks. This is a mega and the color is happiness pink. I'm so lucky because um, a lot of them were out of stock. But when I went on Amazon, because I wanted to get it faster, they still had this color, which pink and coral are like my favorite colors. So I got lucky and got this one. So I'm going to add this one for next year. And I have a Motorn Pocket Planner in Dusty Rose. I have the Habanichi Techo Cousin for 2023. And I have an Erin Condren Monthly Planner, which I have my name on it and it says Budget 2023. This is what I'm gonna use to budget next year. So before I go through these, I'm gonna show you what I've been using. So for 2022, I used the Molten Pocket and Cream Croc and here it is, set up for Christmas. I have flip throughs and plan with me's on my channel. And this is December. I use this planner like a wallet. You see, I have my credit cards here. I have some money in the back, some receipts. And I really like using it. That's why I bought another one for next year. And I like to plan in it. I only put like the monthly planning in it. Oh, and I don't use a purse. So what I do is I just throw this in my car when I go out and this is what I was using. So I bought the pink one to replace this one. And this is the only other planner I was using. This is a Moterm Cream Croc Lutz A5. And of course I have flip throughs and plan with me's and all that on my channel to plan monthly, weekly, and daily there's the month of january this is how the weekly layout is so i have it all completely filled out i'm still using i'm going to use it to the last day like this whole second half is what i use to budget i got some monthly dividers i got some inserts from squizzleberry so all my budget is in here look how fat it is how chunky now we're back over here. So I like to use the A5, but I wanted to try something new. It's the Hobonichi Weiss. I wasn't going to get this because I was thinking I don't have use for it, but I'm watching YouTube and I don't know if, if it's just in style right now, what everyone is using, but all I see is Hobonichi Weiss set up, Hobonichi Weiss set up. They look so nice, even if they didn't have a lot of stickers in them. Just writing, they look really nice. And I like to write. I kind of miss it a little bit because since I had the ring planners, you just buy inserts and you just like fill in the information. I didn't really have to write anything out. And I miss that. Now I know that I like to write. So I'm not like a whole journaling type of planner, but I like to plan at least and I like to memory keep. I went on Amazon and it wasn't that expensive. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to order it and see if I like it. Like I said, I got lucky. I love the color. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy the clear cover or get a, a Motum cover. Because I looked on Amazon and Motum does covers that fit this planner. They were like 50 bucks. And that's a decision I'm not going to make right now. So, you know, I haven't put this. It's like a clear pocket for stickers, I guess. I haven't put it like permanently yet because i don't know where i want it on this page i didn't do anything yet i had to finish setting it up when i finish i'll make a video for sure and then on this page i'm not gonna use these are like this is like the 2023 overview i'm not gonna use that because these candles are way too small like i don't know what can i track there you know but i did put like transparent stickers and i just wrote out with my pen like the abbreviation of each month and it looks really nice i saw this somewhere on youtube i forgot who it was but everything that i liked on youtube 
I just put it in this planner, you know? Or on Instagram. Instagram, you get a lot of ideas too. And over here, it says important dates. I haven't filled that out yet. And on this side, it has 2022 and 2024 yearly overview. And I'm not going to use that. So I just covered it with this journaling card from Clone from Paper. Use a little bit of washi tape. And the pen I'm using, before I continue, so the paper is thin and it's kind of, if you look at it, it's kind of cream. And I didn't think I was going to like it because when you use the Erin Condren planner, the paper is really white and really nice to write on and it's really thick so nothing bleeds. And the same with the inserts. The inserts come in like bright white paper. So I didn't think I was going to like this because of the color and like the thinness of the paper, but... I really, really like it. I like it a lot. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I do. I understand now why everyone's into these planners now. And that's crazy. All This is a one whole year. There's a thinner one, like the normal one. It's, it's It has less of these pages in the back. These are like just grid paper pages. But this is like really small too, you know. And since the paper is thinner, I was seeing on these videos that you have to be careful with the pens you use because they will smudge a lot and bleed or whatever. But these are the pens that I have and I always like to use because I like, I like really black ink. I always use gel pens. And this one's one of my favorites, the Pentel Energel Liquid Gel Ink in 0.7. And the other one is Pilot G2.72. And that's what I've been using. And I haven't had trouble with it. I do have to get used to the to letting the ink dry. So on the next page, there's like a yearly, another yearly overview. I see a lot of people use it as a habit tracker. But I've tried habit trackers and like i never do them i i really don't i just don't i was thinking of maybe i think it would look nice if i did like a habit tracker of my mood every day so that's why i did like this key i use like all these colors these are um dot markers let me see what they're called it says free color spot got these on amazon so i just use these for here and i was thinking like if I, if I stick with it and I mark every day, like how I'm feeling, it's going to look really nice in the end of the year. But like I said, I'm really bad with habit tracker, so I don't know. We'll see. After that, I start in December. And even though I'm still using my five, I wanted to plan out December, like kind of just to, to see how it would look. And this is what I did. I just put a little bit of wash. You just wrote in like the events. I put this sticker. The sticker's from Happy Planner. Um, 2022, just so I know this la this is going to be like the year before when I start using it next year. And I like the way it came out. It was really easy to do. This right here, this shading is from a uh, Tombow. And I don't know, I liked it. So I think I could stick with this. This is a nice planner to use too as a wallet. Like instead of using something like this, you could buy that Moturn cover they have it has a bunch of slots and the size for credit cards and stuff and it will make a really nice wallet but like i'm already set with that you know so i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm, I'm gonna use this for sure because i really like it and what i did so far was just fill out like each of the moms with them happy planner mom stickers after the monthlies we get the weeklies and it started on november 28th so i just Try to plan a little bit with it, see if I would like it. I was still testing it out. And this is what I came up with. Like I said, you see how the ink is really black and dark. I really like this. I use a stencil for this that I have and for these. And I, I really like how it looks. So I did this one and then I, tr I did the other week. And since these weeks had passed already, I used this one like for gifts. And I wrote down some gifts and then I got them already. Use some more washi. And then this is the current week. Look how into it I am. This is today. I'm filming on a Friday. I'm hoping I can get it up today, even if it's late. And look, all filled out. I got my to-do to list up there. I have to film. I checked all of that off. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to film all of this this week. But anyway, we'll see. 
I have like my meal prep or at least the meals I wanted to make this week. I haven't even cooked that much. I'm gonna use this planner too. I'm gonna weekly plan, I'm gonna monthly plan. And then in the back, it has like a notes section. And these are where all these pages are at. And I just started like, you could do whatever you want. I've seen a lot of videos where they daily plan here, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna use the cousin for that. So here, I'm just gonna do whatever I want, honestly. I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna start with my goals. So I just have a couple goals here that I've been working on. And I already had got two of these cause I already have my thousand subscribers and I'm already monetized. So I thank everyone who has subscribed, who watches my videos and I can start my 2023 all monetized. And over here, I just saw this somewhere and I like this, so I wrote it here. The motivated mindset, it says, and then I use some washi. And then I, I use these stamps over here with the pink tombow just to stamp out the mums. And I did all of them. So I think I'm gonna divide my goals like for every month. Or I don't know, I don't know, or maybe write something that happened the month important, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna use that for, but I did that. And then here, this is just a poster with a video I'm working on, on my desk, because I changed it out. And I think that's it, that's about it. I haven't done anything else to it. These are like some pages in the back you can fill out. Um, yeah, oh, over here, every time I have like a washi, a little piece, I don't know what to do with it. I'm just sticking it there. But yeah, I haven't decorated none of this yet, but I will. But I wanted to get like this video up, so I'm gonna show you what I have so far. And I love it. So that's the weeks. And then the main character of 2023, the big one, this is my Hobonichi cousin. This I'm going to be using to monthly plan, weekly plan, and daily plan. And let me show you what I have so far. I bought the clear cover for it. And I just put this sticker that says embrace all the facets of you. So when you open it, I just put like the washies that I like. I just lined them up here. For this planner, I ordered some stickers from the month. The Coffee Monsters Co. I seen these all over YouTube. And I'm like, I thought it was so cute. And I ordered them on Etsy. And I thought it was going to take longer. Because the shipping was showing me like. It was going to take a long time. But it didn't take that long. So they're here already. And this is what came. This she gave it to me. And these stickers are these dividers you see back here. Where the daily planning is. I already put them up there. These are like the holidays. Yeah, so I bought like the kit for January. Yeah, see? So I, I could probably plan January with this whole kit. I'll probably make a video on that. So I use some of those stickers for over here. This one's with the YouTube icon, Instagram, and this is just with the phone 2023. Just adding my name there. Like I said, I'm trying to go for rose gold, but... You'll see some yellow gold in here too. And I did like a video of this setup, but I added a bunch of things. So I might have to do a, like a part two. And I showed this, this is a kit. Let's see Kylie designs on Etsy. And I have to fill out like the important days, probably birthdays. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. This part is like the, the one that everyone uses as a habit tracker too. I, I have no idea what I'm gonna use this for. Well, for now, the only idea I have is to track. Um, I have a YouTube channel, a TikTok, and I have an Instagram about curly hair and stuff. It's Miss Lynette, the same name as my YouTube. And I, and I have an Instagram about planning, which is Lynette Loves Plans. So I'm going to track like my subscribers and followers every month. So I have at least that, but I have no idea what to do with the rest. I'm going to have to watch more videos. And... The month of December, I already have planned. I added this washies down here. And I really like how it looks. Just got a couple washies, put some bills in there. 
use these stickers from the same Etsy shop as the kit before. Her name is Let's See Kylie Designs. A couple appointments, so I really like it. And this is January. What I did was I put in all the holidays and I put these icon stickers. These are from Piper Paper Company. Just to mark the birthdays, I still have to write it out. I wrote out every month in my handwriting using an Erin Condren marker. I would have rather use a Tombow, but I don't have any that are black. This is February, March, so I did it with all the months. After the months, we start the weekly planning, which starts on December 26th which I said before in, my, in the first video, that I really wanna track my time. And I'm not gonna time block, cause I don't like to time block. I already tried that. Like, I don't, I don't like to have hours to do just one certain thing. I'd rather do it when I feel like doing it. I think I'm more, I'm more productive. If I feel like doing something, I'll get it done like really, really well and really fast. I am gonna write down what I'm doing each hour where I'm gonna try, you know? So that's my plans for this, the weeklies. These are done. We have like two blank pages. And I just put a poster here. I wanna do my vision board here. This is what I'm using now, and it prints out pictures, but the paper is like a real picture almost. It's like thick, and I don't think, I don't think that's gonna work for this. I think it's gonna be too thick. So I have to see, look on Amazon, look on YouTube, see what else I can use. Then maybe print a picture thinner, you know? So I just need to do this. Have another one of the paper clips up there. And then January starts. And before each month, you have like this blank page. And I'm thinking of putting goals for the month, small calendar, that's that, what I'm feeling, etc. Like Happy Planner, because I used to look, I used to use Happy Planner back in the day. And I used to love that part. Like every month you will write what are you feeling, what you're eating, what you're watching, what music you're listening to. So I'm going to keep doing that. Write special dates. And these are the daily pages. So you get one whole page for each day, which I'm going to love because say you have like a really, really busy day, you could plan it out completely. Say you have to go shopping, you could put like your whole shopping list and that was the problem with my A5. I Sometimes I didn't have space. So I had my A5 full of post-it notes. So I'm gonna get a lot of use of these pages. Of course, you can decorate it like you want. And to divide these, I used the uh, Coffee Monster Co. tabs. I think these were pastels. They came with these and the ones on the top. They divide yearly, monthly, weekly, and notes. I haven't done anything here. After December is done, I just tipped in. I was watching videos how they would just put in vellum. So I took some vellums from my A5 and tried to do it. I didn't cut like, I don't know if you can notice the hole punch there, but I wanted to see if it would work with some washi and it was really easy. It looks, it looks like it's hard, but it's not. On this one, I just started checking my tombos. I have another pack coming in the mail. So I'll probably do that next to this one. Uh, I wrote some stuff there. Got a picture of my son. And these are like the pages that come in the back, which I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I might cover them up. And then I tipped in this vellum, has like flowers and pink, which is my vibe. And on the back, I just added this couple of stick of post-its, just in case I wanted to write some notes. And here I added these gold flower stickers. I think these are Erin Condren. And over here, I just have the paper, like the packet the planner came with. And I'm just using this when I'm gonna write with something new, just so I can test it out. And a couple of stickers from the Coffee Monster Code that was like a freebie. In the beginning, I liked having um, personal planning and budget planning all in one ring planner, but then I got tired of it. I, like, I didn't wanna do it anymore. And it was like too much. I felt like it was work. So I decided to buy this planner. And I'm going to show you real quick. I had done it for, this was 2020. And this was 2021. So I had planned in the same type of planner 
just for budgeting. Let me show you. And I kind of missed it. See, this is the month of January 2020. So I think I want to go back. That's why I bought the planner from Erin Condren. These are Erin Condren stickers. The planners are really nice. They're really pretty. You see, these are like two, three years old and they hold up really nice. I still have them. I keep my planners. I want to know um, how I how I budget it. I want to know what happened with the money. Like my personal planner, I always add pictures to it of stuff we did in the month, important events. So I keep all of them. So this plan is from Erin Condren. You could get your whatever you want personalized. I just put my name and it says budget 2023. I chose this cover because I don't know. I like the colors and I I chose colorful and I'm not sure what this style is. I'll look it up for you and put it there. Um, I think it's color blends. So that's what I chose. See, I haven't done anything with it yet. But this is not that hard. Like when January comes, all I really have to do is put in my bills. Like you saw before and mark the paydays. And as I pay the bills, I just write how much and all that. I like to write maybe money goals here. I always used to write my credit score. On this side, I will write the balances on my bank accounts. I have like five different bank accounts and each bank account has money for a certain thing. Like my checking account is to pay bills. My savings account is my emergency fund. Other savings account is to say I'm saving up for a trip or something. So I divide them and that's what I use this page for. And this video is going to be a little long because they're for planners. I didn't think I was going to use this many, but here I am. So after that, it just has a couple note pages. And that's how I, I used to like to just write out my budget, just write the income, uh, monthly bills. So that's what I'm gonna do with this planner. And I think I added for like five more dollars. Look at the folder, how pretty. Oh, look, it came. Oh, these are nice. Yeah, it has to be color blends because that's what the stickers look like. It came with these stickers. And for like $5, you could add more notes pages to the back. And to go with that, I ordered the sticker book, the monthly sticker book from Amarin Condren 2. And yeah, and it's the color, color blends. So it has like a sheet for every month. It's really pretty. It's what I always use on them. And it's just easy. You just go to the month and just use the same stickers for whatever you need. So that way when the, the new year starts, I'm all ready. So this will be for my budgeting. I'm all ready. Let me put that to the side. And then to replace the pocket planner, I bought this new one. It's Moterm 2. It's a uh, Lutz. And the only reason I got lost because the normal one was out of stock, but it's okay because I didn't, I thought it was going to be like a lot bigger, but it's not, it's almost the same size. It's not that much of a difference. So I don't think it's going to bother me. The letter I think is called Pebble. So I kind of set it up already for next year. I'm going to be doing videos on each planner like by itself but i wanted to get this one done first because it is like the most interesting one you know so i just put this i recycled a lot of my stuff from my a5 planner and stuff that i hadn't used in a while so i just put this in here a card for the month for december that's from cloth and paper these little paper clips they're really pretty i got them on amazon i'm gonna try to link Anything I can in my description box, just in case you want it. And then I got this transparent card in Etsy. It says Energy Givers, another one of the task cards. Um, I use another clip for these um, pink teardrop stickers. This is from Etsy. All these vellums that you're gonna see, 
and dashboards are gonna be from Etsy from Heather B. Cole. So I got one with my name on it. Another vellum with rose gold. So like my theme is like rose gold for next year. A couple of transparent circles from cloth and paper. Emboss 2023. Twenty twenty three. So this is like the yearly overview, and this is January. And this little paper clip I got from Heather B. Cole too. So I haven't planned January yet or none of that, but it's ready. You know, I have all the months here. Then I have like another vellum, another section which has the list. I always have this list here. It's like a shopping list. The Christmas list, I have in my, the plan I'm using right now, but I have older list here and the new one for the new year. This ruler, another vellum, vellum. And these are the sheets that come with the mold terms. They're not as pretty, but I always use them. So I just made a couple lists here. These are all my son's Christmas gifts and stuff I have to get him for Christmas. So I just need to check it off. As I get them, I'm almost done with this list anyway. I almost have it all. And then I have to fix my second floor. I live in a town home. And I just wrote some um, second floor projects, stuff I have to do. My, the Christmas meal I'm gonna cook. I was just writing down what I wanted to cook. Uh, Etsy wish list. I put a bunch of stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna buy anymore. I'm being honest, I wasted so far for 2023, I wasted $340. And I'm not, I don't think I want to waste any more. We have like the little change pocket and the page lifter in the back. I just put these post-its with some notes. Oh, there's some stuff I had to get done. Another one of the paper clips. And then in here, I just put the stickers from Heather B. Cole for the, for the dividers just in case I wanted to use them for something else. See, it's empty because I have to set it up. When the year ends, I'll just change whatever I have on that wallet to this one. And this I'm gonna carry everywhere with me. Like I said, I don't use purses, not into them. So I just take this and just put it in the car or throw it in the car and go do what I have to do. And that's it. So that's how I'm gonna be using my planners next year. The way I am, I start the year with planners and I use them the whole year to the end. And that's how I like to do it. I like to start and finish in the same planner. I know I've seen a lot of videos of, of other people. They change up the whole year. Maybe they get bored, but I never get bored. I just, I, I like the look of a finished planner. So I do finish them. I'm gonna be trying to get each individual planner setup video out. Cause I know that in December, YouTubers do the Vlogmas and all that. I, I didn't do the Vlogmas, but I am trying to do more videos. So if you wanna see what I'm doing with these, you could just subscribe so you can see them. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.